When they met back in November, Arsenal were three points above Tottenham, with Spurs still unbeaten. Now it's Mauricio Pochettino's side challenging for the title, while Arsenal looks set to struggle to even make the top four. And I think it's, it's probably a bigger game for Arsenal. You know, it's going to be tough just say, for Tottenham to catch Chelsea. Um, but Arsenal, Tottenham are going to finish in the top four Champions League. They're going to finish above Arsenal for the first time in God knows how long. You know, so I think there's more pressure on Arsenal to win this game. I think Tottenham are too good, you know. I think Tottenham are excellent. So it's going to be a tough game for uh, for Arsenal, I think, you know. But uh, Tottenham, Tottenham do look, they do look exceptional. Arsene Wenger has created a dynasty here synonymous with success. And even though they're through to yet another FA Cup final, that won't stop fans here from calling for his head. Well, I mean, he's gotten to another cup final. So that's, uh, you know, that's so that's sort of, you know, ease the pressure, I would think, on him. But um, they're not going to make the top four this year. I don't see any real chance. I don't think they can make the top four unless they win every game, I would think, now. And I can't really see that happening. So, and Tottenham, I think, have pushed on. And, uh, you know, Tottenham are a better team than Arsenal now. There's no doubt about that. Man for man, they're miles and miles in front of them. So, it's going to be a tough game for, uh, for Arsenal. But... Um, no, it's difficult, you know, you, you'd hate to see him get chased out of there, really. I mean, he's been a top manager for, for Arsenal, you know. You know, only he, it seems to me it's only his decision as to whether he goes at the end of the season or stays. It doesn't seem like there's any pressure on any, from anybody else. It's going to be Arsenal's decision. If he decides to stay, then he will. You just want people to get um, treated with a little bit of respect you know, after what he's done. You know, he won't be happy that... Um, they're struggling to qualify for Champions Leagues and with a lot of the results. But what he's done over the last 20, 21 years is, is just unbelievable. Probably only Sir Alex has, <laughs> has um, been more successful than him. And to get the abuse off, off his own fans as well. I know it's a, majority, um, a minority and not a majority. But I think he deserves a little bit more respect. Do you expect to see him at the helm next season? It wouldn't surprise me in the least if he did, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. I think he's quite stubborn and... Uh, Although I've looked at him of late in the in the dugout, and he's not, he, he looks to me like he's, he's he, the, you know, he's been under severe pressure. I think it showed on him lately. So, you know, does he need that? Or well, maybe he thinks he needs a new challenge. You know, he's done twenty odd years there, fantastic job. Maybe it's time to move on. You know, if I was him, I think maybe I would move now. Victory over Crystal Palace in midweek kept Tottenham in the hunt for the title, just four points behind Chelsea. They also come off the back of eight successive wins for only the third time in the club's history. The last two times they did it, they won the title both times. It's obvious it's Chelsea's to lose, you know, um, four points for the games coming up. And if you've, I don't like looking at the opposition teams, but it looks like Tottenham have got the tougher running. But sometimes that can work in your favour. You know, and, and Chelsea have started a couple of times over the past few weeks. Um, but you would, looking at Chelsea's fixtures, you would think it's going to be too much for Tottenham to catch them. Neither team really can afford to lose this then, can they? Because Arsenal need to do it for pride, they need to be in the top four. They do, and I think it's, it's probably a bigger game for Arsenal. You know, it's going to be tough just say, for Tottenham to catch Chelsea. Um, but Arsenal, t Tottenham are going to finish in the top four Champions League. They're going to finish above Arsenal for the first time in God knows how long. You know, so I think there's more pressure on Arsenal to win this game. Well, it's going to be difficult. I think Chelsea are the team, you know, Chelsea are over the year, they've been there all year. I think it's going to be difficult. But, uh, you know, I think Tottenham, as I say, I think it's a, it's a squad that, a uh, team that we've, you know, a couple of additions to the squad. You know, I think that next year they'll be bang there again, challenging them for years to come because they're young. Walker, Rose, you know, Kane, Deli Ali. For me, Deli Ali should have been player of the year this year. I thought he was, he's been fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I made a statement at the start of the year. I said I wouldn't swap Pogba with Deli Ali. I think a lot of people thought I was mad, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I think Deli Ali's. I think he's, he's at the moment. He's, he's not just the best young player around. He's possibly the best player. He's, I think he's an amazing talent. You've got to give Tottenham credit. You know, we said at the start about the recruitment policy. They, they, they took the chance on him, and not just take the chance, but. Pochettino played them as well, which is a big thing. You see lots of big clubs signing young kids for a lot of money, not necessarily putting them in the team. That's one thing that Tottenham have done. So a victory here on Sunday will see them finish above their North London rivals for the first time in 22 years. So just how good a building job has Pochettino done here? And obviously he's gone into Tottenham with, um, 
we have a fantastic group of players, you know. Took over a good a, a good squad. Harry Kane is was coming, you know, Delis you know, Deli Alley's been bought in by whoever, you know, five million pound he was for nothing. But um Rose and Walker were there coming through, getting better. So and, and obviously the emergence of Harry Kane has been massive, twenty odd goal every year now, you know, he's he's up there leading goal scorer. So um no, but he's a, he's a good guy as well. I like him. I love the way uh, the way he goes about his job. But um, and he's got a good group of players. Most important of all, I, I think he's great. You know, you can tell watching him on the touchline um, that the players hang on to every word that he says. You know, and, and for me that that's a big thing. You know, if I've not just watching the game, if you're observing every time he speaks, the players switch on like that. You know, sometimes a manager shouting on the pitch and the players giving it the old deaf mm. ear one, they listen. You know, and, and that's the biggest thing. And see about him as top top manager. And he came in, didn't he, and just learnt English within a couple of months. Yeah. You had to admire him for that, didn't you? And he, he turned Southampton round. And what he's done with with Tottenham, you know, he's yeah. proved he can go into a big club, which is it's difficult, isn't it? You know, Southampton. Of course it is. Of course it is. You know, the, the job he done at Southampton was was fantastic. The players that they had to get rid of, the players that he brought in and then sold on again, and, and to get them um, finishing high up in the Premier League, you know, that that itself was a huge achievement to get into Tottenham and turn it round the way they has and turn them into genuine title contenders, you know, it shows you what a good manager he is and, you know, Tottenham, they might, maybe not this summer, but in a few summers' time, the big boys come calling and they might struggle to keep them. Arsenal have got it all on to uh, to get anything out of Tottenham. I think Tottenham are better than Arsenal these days, you know, I just think Arsenal are such a, you know, Tottenham, sorry, Tottenham are such a good side that they're capable of beating anyone, Tottenham, I think they're top, top class now. I would, look, I would love to see Arsenal beat them. Of course I would, um, but I just think Tottenham are, t are too strong in, in every single area. Arsenal will be confident, they'll be buoyant after beating a, a top Manchester City team and um, going into the game, but uh, I just think Tottenham are too strong. Score? 2-1 Tottenham. And who you put your money on scoring? Well, that's got to be Harry Kane and Dele Alli, isn't it? Yeah. So it's second versus sixth in the Premier League, it's the North London derby and worth remembering that four out of the last five have ended in a draw. But check out all the latest odds on betsafe.com and remember, you've got to be in it to win it.